evening, and welcome to Let's Talk with Lakshmi, a show about us, our people, our community, our experiences, our culture. And in the spirit of Holi, we have Professor Peter Manuel and Sri Tej Singh, who will be discussing traditional Chow Chow singing. Today, we usher in the auspicious festival of color Holi, with the booming infectious sounds of Caribbean Chow Chow. So exactly where did this resilient musical style come from, and where is it going? The chiming, vibrating effects of Chow Chow instruments and its interesting melodic composition is representative of Holi. It is life springing forward. It is a time to rejoice and enjoy all the colorful festivities with friends and family. Dr. Peter Manuel is a professor of ethnomusicology at John Jay College and Graduate Center of City University of New York. He has studied and written extensively about popular and traditional music of India, the Caribbean, and elsewhere. Three of his books have earned prestigious awards. His field research has taken him to East Indian communities of Trinidad, Guyana, Suriname, Fiji, New York, California, and Bihar and Uttar Pradesh in India. Dr. Manuel brings an extensive knowledge of classical and folk music in northern India to the field of Indo-Caribbean music and culture. He is also a scholar of other ethnic music like Afro-Caribbean that is blending with rhythms and melodies of Indo-Caribbean music to create contemporary styles like soca chutney. Dr. Peter Manuel is an amateur sitarist, jazz pianist, and flamenco guitarist. So Peter, provide us with some background about your work regarding the Indo-Caribbean music and culture. Well, I first got interested in Indian culture when I was in college uh, in the early 70s, and I uh, then spent a few years in India studying sitar and Indian music, and then I ended up in New York City teaching and uh, came in contact with uh, East Indians uh, from Guyana and Trinidad, and uh, got very interested in them and their music culture and started traveling to that area, and also um, getting to know some of the musicians here. Okay. And then more recently going back and forth between India and the Caribbean and here and trying to uh, understand where everything came from and how it all fit together. Okay. Now, a lot of our viewers may not be too familiar with Chow Chow singing. Can you explain a little bit about the style of Chow Chow singing? Well, I can say a few things about it, and of course I'm not the expert. I'm really a student of Chow Tal, uh, learning from the experts in the community, but it's a kind of folk song, I would say, that is sung uh, during Pagwa season, or Holi, as they might call it, um, uh, in which you have, well, I would say two sets of people, maybe six people on one side and six on the other, and okay. then a drummer, right. and uh, they alternate singing lines as many people in the community know, of course, and go back and forth. And then the song itself, the melodies, I would say, might be fairly simple, but they go through this very complicated set of uh, the music speeds up and it slows down and it gets softer and it gets louder and it has this sort of rising and falling and it's great fun to do. And um, it's something that there are quite a few groups uh, uh, in Trinidad and Guyana, of course, and up here that mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. Now, I've noticed when when the groups are singing, it's like a back and forth. Is it some type of a competition going on? No, I don't think so. At least if there is that competitive element, I don't think so. No, I think the idea is that they, uh, one group sings and the other catches its breath, and this way you can go on for a long time. Oh, okay. A single, so it's like a break. <laughs> yeah, so a song, if you want to call it that, might last 20 minutes, and it's very intense and rhythmic, and people are singing loud. And I think it's a way of being able to go on for that long, uh, but you get a, a chance to catch your breath after every line. Okay. Now, where did this music originate from? Well, it's pretty clear that it came from the Bhojpuri area of North India, which is like uh, the western part of Bihar, eastern part of Uttar Pradesh, and it's, you know, village culture. It's a, a rural folk song style. and. Um, we know this because they sing it in Fiji in a pretty similar style, and the Fijians and the uh, Indo-Caribbeans came from the same place, and also in that Bhojpuri region today, they sing it in quite a similar style, and uh, people have found old books 
uh, with Chowtal texts going back to the 1860s, and so we know that it came from there. And if you go to any other part of India, they'll, they won't have heard of it. Okay. Now, you, you mentioned it was a similar style. What's the major difference between the singing in the Fiji and India compared to the Chowtal singing in the Caribbean? Yeah. Well, I'm continuing to learn about this. It's a vast subject, and there are people like uh, Rudy Sesnarayan and Tej Singh who know all about the different styles, even in Guyana, that are quite similar. I would say some of the things are the same, but then maybe in Burbese they sing it one way, and in uh, okay. uh, Demerara they sing it another way, whatever. And likewise, the Trinidadians have their own favorite melodies. And then we had an event last summer where we brought some uh, Fijians, we meaning the Raj Kumari Center really, uh, I helped facilitate it, brought some Fijians who lived in California. Wow. Okay. Um, uh, but they, uh, Chowtow was very popular there. And so they sang along, and the Guyanese were able to sing with them. You know, the rhythm was a little different, the melodies were a little bit different. And then I've also had the good fortune to hear some Chowtow in India. And again, it's very similar, some of the same songs, some of the same, certainly the same rhythm modulations. Um, but slight differences, and I'm sure if you tramped around the Bhojpuri area, which is vast, uh, you would find some variations there too. But in some ways, what's more remarkable is the similarities, and especially since the, the Fijians and the Caribbeans have been, you know, haven't had any contact, contact at with all, the Bhojpuri right? region with each other or with India since 1917, or with that part of India. Okay. Now, who originally sang Chowtow? Well, it seems to, it's mostly men, but women also do it. Uh, but it's a very sort of boisterous and um, uh, festive and noisy kind of singing, and maybe Indian village women aren't supposed to act that way all the time. But um, women do sing it in India, and they do sing it in uh, Fiji. Uh, what I think is a Caribbean innovation is to have men and women singing it together, which is nice when that happens. So would you normally see women singing Chow Tal in New York today? Well, sure. Now enjoy this piece of traditional Chow Tal music, and when we come back, we'll continue this interesting and intriguing conversation with Professor Peter Manuel. <laughs> West Indies, Tan singing, chutney, and the making of Indo-Caribbean culture 
won the Caribbean Studies Association Best Book Award in 2001. What inspired you to write this book? Well, uh, the more I started to learn about Indo-Caribbean music, uh, Guyanese, Trinidadian, Surinamese, I found that they had, among other things, a whole system of what in India might be called sort of light classical music, um, uh, but with kinds of music like Tumri and Rupad and Tilana and uh, Lavani and Behag and so on, which were uh, kinds of music that were familiar to me from my studies in India of classical music there, but and I... those are all styles of classical music? Yes, or, yeah, I, we could say so, yeah. Okay. Um, Any of them folk or just classical? No, they're more in the classical realm. Okay. Um, but I soon learned that the way that the Guyanese and Trinidadians sang yeah, these was quite different from what uh, would be heard in India. And then the more I uh, studied, the more I learned that there was a whole system there, and this was really a unique kind of music that had evolved in the Caribbean and uh, deserved to be documented. Okay. Now, how was your experience? Did you go to Guyana to document this at all, the music? Uh, I made one trip to Guyana of uh, a couple of weeks. Um, most of my research uh, on the Guyanese version of this was up here in New York City, um, which wasn't just out of laziness on my part, but we have some of the uh, in New York City, some of the top performers here, such as Ruby Sace Narayan, um, uh, other people. Um, so I was able to learn a lot about the Guyanese uh, style right here in New York City, and then I made several trips also to Trinidad and Suriname. Okay. And how was your visit to, to the West Indies? How was your visit to Trinidad, Suriname, Guyana? Well, I always love to go to these places. There's so much musical activity and so... Uh, uh, much richness in the Indo-Caribbean culture, new things like chutney and then old things, uh, old styles that maybe have died out in India, and then things like uh, what they call tan singing in Guyana or local classical music in Trinidad that are totally unique. You wouldn't find them anywhere else and they are beautiful. Now, Peter, Holi is coming up next week. Now, have you, I know you've traveled to India, you've traveled to Guyana, to Trinidad, how is the experience of Holi in India compared to, let's say, Guyana or New York? Well, of course, they celebrate Holi uh, with great enthusiasm uh, in India, and uh, I've seen it several places in North India, and they do it different ways. Uh, um, different regions have their own different folk songs they sing and their own particular ways of celebrating it, but what you will find throughout North India is, of course, the throwing of rung, that is to say, colored powder or colored water, and, and I must say that I, as a foreigner, was always a favorite target uh, for those. Um, uh, but as I was saying, they have different folk songs that they sing in different parts of India, and it would be only in that Bhojpuri region that you would hear Chautal, um, which is something, of course, that's then carried over to the Caribbean and Fiji. Okay. Now, we're going to have the cover of this on the website. That's www.lakshmi.com and if anyone would like to purchase this book you can send me an email and we will contact you or Rudy or the Rajkumari Cultural Group where you'll be able to purchase this book. Peter, I'd like to wish you a happy holy. Will you be going to the parade next week? Oh yes. Okay, so I'm going to see you on the streets of Liberty Avenue. So happy holy. We'd like to thank you for coming down to Let's Talk with Lakshmi. It was a pleasure having you here, and I wish you all good fortune and good luck in your future trips to India and the Caribbean, and with all of the great work that you're doing right here in New York City. Thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.
something who is an authority, a master, a grand master at that, at Chow Tal singing and Remind Goal singing. Uncle Tej, welcome to Let's Talk with Lakshmi. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Can you tell us where you're from in Guyana? Well, we born and grew up plantation life like. But the Bill House, uh, the William uh, scheme, 1958 and 59, they put me for Ramayan leader at the place that I got no Ramayan gold mm -hmm. at the William. So they put me for leader. And from then we start to sing Ramayan and Chautaro, 1959. So you've been doing this for over 60 years? Yes, uh, that's right. We sing, sing over 60 years, but we the leader. From 59 to come uh, up to 78, and then we go over this country. So, how did you start singing Ramayan, Goal, and Chow Tal singing? Well, after the people them from India, them dead out and then gone, them Indian people, then we have to join the young people them who sing Ramayan Chow mm -hmm. and so come we start to sing with them. Okay? But nobody said that. Um, them sh show me this thing so or sing so. Because uh, we the sing before already, different style. And we got the style of them and we start to sing with them with the books. And uh, still we start to get someone put on my head, you know, and sing by head. But nowadays people don't want to do that, they only want books mm -hmm. with copy, you know. So no one taught you, you learned this pretty much on your own. That's right, that's right. Okay. You remind for get question and answer that we get from people. Uh, we get a uh, priest from uh, Shortville, they call soup on it. Okay. So we learn a lot of story from he, from the Ramayana. See, but all the Chautal, we try with yourself and come up with the Chautal itself. Mm. So you can read Hindi? Yeah, they hear Hindi. Mm. So when you were originally learning this Chautal singing, you were singing, you were reading this in Hindi, correct? That's right. We, we learn Hindi from small days, you know. Mm -hmm. And so come with the sing bhajan, with Mahabharat bhajan, Ramayana bhajan, with them India man and thing. Uh -huh. And Kavir Das bhajan, all kind of thing. But after them pass away, then we join the Chautal gul, the Ramayana gul, and we start to sing Ramayana and Chautal. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now back from when you were younger, when you were a child singing Chow Tal, to now, how would you say that the Chow Tal singing has changed? Well, the Chow Tal singing changed because the people them only got a couple of Chow Tal to sing. Uh -huh. And then I want going more inside to sing more different Chow Tal. So that's why we say change. That's the reason we say change. Mm -hmm. Then the land know a different style. He got Chahaka, he got Bhartal, he got uh, Lej, all them things. The, the people when I sing them, the only school is me go uh, sing the um, lege and thing, mm -hmm. jhumar and thing, but the other goal them not sing them. Okay. And me goal is um, Mahatma Gandhi's son, you know, and that goal be with him. And the other goal is go to sing this, they sang them. Right. Uh, and Kaba Barama sang the Ramayan, uh, the same goal to sing, not a goal not sing. Okay. Mm, because they not practice them. Okay. Now, I have this book here that was compiled by Rudy, also by Professor Peter Manuel, and I know that you've been featured in this book. So I'm going to ask you to tell our viewers a little bit about the different types of Chow Tal singing, such as if I was to ask you, what is Jati? Jati sing, are we going to sing Jati? Um, in different way, you know. Okay. Mm. And uh, the popular Jati what they were saying, Janani Samujhave Pita Mano Ho Dulari. Okay. Mm. Can uh, you sing a little piece for me? Huh? Can you sing a little piece? Well, <laughs> you have your jal, right? I saw the jal somewhere. You came in with their jal. Where's your jal? Jal there. Yeah. Uh huh. So I want you to sing a little piece of jati for our audiences. Janani samujhavetritaku mano hodulari priha janani samujhavetritaku mano hodulari. You're raised there, no? Mm. Mm. 
Hindi part. Deri ati ber tohi bar jo lal lali ho suna gori re jaso mati ke mati jai are apane man yaar jaso mati ke mati jai ho. मोहन संग के रासर सायो मोहन संग के रासर लोग लगावत गारी चननी समझावे सुता को मानो हो दुलारी Very impressive. So tell me, now the drummer, when Rudy has to play, how does he know when you're singing something with a slow tone or a fast beat? Well, you how see how know? you sing the song, uh -huh. them know the hand them. And sometimes when for raise and thing, they watch you, or you sing them for raise, or you <coughs> clap your hand, you know. Mm -hmm. And they, they don't know where they were raised now, you know. And they know so much voice after you trap. Mm -hmm. So they know all of that, you know. They can play drum plan already. So they know this, this, this style and everything. See, all the drum of them, mm -hmm. I do the same thing, you know. They go for um, Either you call upon them, or you sign them, or you clap with jal, different, and then don't know when the thing will stop now or come up now. Uncle Tej, we're going to take a break now, and when we come back, I'm going to ask you to actually go through the different types of chow chow singing, and I want to get a little glimpse, a little touch, a little taste of all of the different styles of chow chow singing. छत्र विचारी श्री देव की के गोद जन लीन है बनवारी भादो शुभ दिवस रोहनी नक्षत्र विचारी श्री देव की के गोद जन्म लीन है बनवारी श्री देव की के गोद जन्म लीन है बनवारी करके सरिस चार भुज सुंदर करके सरिस चार भुज सुंदर श्रुति कुंड लयल खसवारी दीन हित कारी हे आली तपद थैंक यू कैन यू सिंग मी अ पीस ऑफ लेज लेज यार ट्री लेज वी गिव्स पॉपुलर वन ओके 
श्री कृष्ण चरण की बलिहारी 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 माठे स चंदन यतर सुगंधन जग बंधन है बनवारी तो पी सिर सो है सब जग मोह मोहि रही ब्रिज की नारी सुरत विशाल निरख निहाल गोपाल लाल की छवि न्यारी Uncle Tej, it was a great pleasure to come into your home and have this interview with you. It is definitely something that I can say I can document as history in Chow Tal making. Thank you very much. And it was my pleasure to interview the first generation of Chow Tal singers in our Indo-Caribbean community. Chow Tal singing is so much like our Indo-Caribbean people. It migrates, but it somehow survives despite adversity. May this holy renew your spirit to live as vibrantly as the colors of this earth and the music of its people. Here is wishing you and your family a happy holy. I'll see you next week, same time, same place. Let's talk. मिले मिले आवे लोग लुगाई हिल मिले आवे लोग लुगाई हिल मिले आवे लोग लुगाई भाई महाराज मैं धीरा यवत में